my day off i have two days off today and tomorrow um and then i am back at reserve for thursday and friday so i'm filming this on a tuesday and i have two days off so i'm trying to get my life together i mean my apartment is crazy and um i have no groceries i you know i just need to get it together what do you guys think about this robe? I think you guys seen this robe in my last vlog. Got it from Shein, love it. I think I'm a robe girly. I think I'm a robe girly. And I'm like, I need to buy more robes. It's just super easy. I love it, I love it. Good morning. <laughs> Happy holidays, we're in December. And this is my first time vlogging in this new month. And yeah, I'm super excited. So let's make some coffee. I feel like I can't function without coffee. So let me get that. You're probably wondering why I still have some October or some fall decor. I don't know. This looks really nice. Um, <laughs> it's my apartment. I can do whatever I want. But I did went to Target yesterday. And I got some little glass trees, which I'm going to put around the house. I don't want to overdo it with holiday decorations because I'm by myself, you know? So. Coffee. Coffee. I'm by myself, so it's just like I don't want to overdo it. And not only that, but like I've been, I really, really need to save money and be cautious of what I buy. So, yeah. That's, that's what's going on. I say that now and then I, I go out and see something cute and I'm like, oh, let me show, let me get it. Oh, I might as well, I'm gonna use it next year, you know? That's, I need to stop. Like, I feel like I spend money on, on stupid things, you know? I need to be a little more frugal with my dineros, you know? This is something new that I've been trying. Um, this is pumpkin spice. So I was like, let me switch it up a little bit. Not too bad. Oh. It's a little bit. Like this is the best, the best thing for me in the morning. A little splash of French vanilla. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I can't drink outside coffee. Like I could only make my own coffee. It tastes so good. I'm going to do a little bit of ground cinnamon in it. Just sprinkle, sprinkle. Just on top. <laughs> I'm crazy. The reason why I'm so all over the place is because my best friend, she was in the UAE. She lives in the UAE and she's messaging me right now talking about, hey, are you free? Let's video chat. So I'm trying to get my drink because we stay on for like hours like two three hours you know so i want to know what's going on with her life and we catch up and stuff and we yeah we just talk and it's, it's like she's the only person in my like life that actually really really understands me and knows me like she knows me tracy like she wants the best for me and i want the best for her and not that I'm about to cry, but I think I am. She 
is truly my best friend and girl let me stop <laughs> i am going to chat with her and i will see you guys in the next clip oh let me drink period sis this is like gingerbread this is like gingerbread right here okay bye guys see you in the next clip talking on the phone for legit seven hours I think we started talking on the phone like nine o'clock in the morning and now it's four o'clock every time we talk on the phone or video chat it always end up talking for hours and it doesn't feel like hours but anyways I'm sorry for the lack of footage so I had my coffee this morning and ate breakfast. I am gonna be heading to the groceries because I have nothing in the fridge and I just wanna get some fresh fruits. Did I write it down? I felt like I wrote what I needed. I need fruits, eggs. I need some crackers, cause I love crackers. I need cheese. I need a few things to for my fridge for tonight for dinner and tomorrow as well. So let's go. I'm just gonna show you what I got from the grocery. Felt like I bought nothing and everything came up to $120. Inflation, my friend, is, is real. Mind you, what am I eating? So I got a bounty. I got mozzarella cheese shredded and I got Mexican style um, cheese. I am a cheese eater. I love cheese and I always literally buy cheese every week and a half. I go through cheese like crazy. I got the Thai basil vegetable dumplings. I love these. Some sweet grape tomatoes because I've been really into eating salads lately and I like throwing some of these in a bowl. I got some fruits. I'm so happy. I'm gonna be eating this today, tonight. 
got some eggs because you guys know I eat a lot of eggs, especially for breakfast. And I like to have boiled eggs in my salad. I got a bag of salad. Taco sauce because maybe this week I think I'm going to make shrimp tacos. So I wanted to get sauce and I needed it in my fridge anyways. I got Laughing Cow, the garlic and herb ones. So good. And I normally eat this with crackers. Um, that's just a snack that I love. I just eat a few. Love it. So I got some crackers because I needed some. You guys already know what time it is with the Celsius drinks. I got four of these. I got dial soap because I like to wash my face with dial soap, especially when I have makeup on. And I like to wash my brushes and my client's brushes with dial soap. So I got this. I got a bag of shrimp. I got tuna because I like to make tuna salad sometimes or tuna, tuna melt. So I got that. I got taco seasoning for when I do make tacos. And then I got sour cream because I needed sour cream for my tacos that I'm going to make this week. And then this bag right here, I got some Clorox. I got my laundry detergent, my liquid laundry detergent. If you know, you know. Got some miscellin, if you know, you know as well. And some of these um, game beads. I put everything away. I'm gonna tackle these dishes. Hi. All right, I just wanted to come on here to show you guys what I got yesterday i wanted to vlog yesterday because i went to the city and hang out with friends and i got some stuff i got some stuff and i just was in the moment sometimes i get in the moment and i just want to just hang out and not think about vlogging or anything like that so i went to old navy and they were having a sale and i got some pajama pants and i got this in, the, in a size small and I got this top. I thought this will go really cute with this. And this is an extra small. I want my Christmas Eve, Christmas PJs to be really tight. I want to look sexy or whatever. So I thought this would be really, really nice to wear for Christmas Eve. I got socks to wear with these. So this is what I am going to wear for Christmas Eve. And then I think I'm going to go back to Old Navy and get a New Year's Eve PJ. I think that's what I'm going to do because they're on, they're on sale. They're like $10, so I might as well. Then I went to Sephora. I didn't pick up much, but it's all kit stuff. So I got the Fenty Primer uh, in Soft Matte. This, for me, works well in all skin types. I love this primer on my clients. I go through this like water, so I was like, you know what, it's time for me to pick up another one because I have no primer in my kit. And then I got mascara, um, the Sephora brand, and it was $5 each. So I got two of these for $10, a steal, and I always need mascara in my kit. I'm not too picky when it comes to mascara for my kit because 98% of my clients, they want lashes so i just want to like coat their lashes to blend with the false lashes so i really don't really care about um mascara so i just picked up two and then there was a sale going on with the sephora brand um concealer they were five dollars so i picked up one this was the only color that i could get i don't know if it's gonna match my skin exactly or if it's gonna be a little lighter so we'll see and i got these cream lip stain lipsticks this is how it looks like all for my kit they have two right colors which is good so i got this for my kit because i only have lipsticks like bullet lipsticks in my kit and i barely have any liquid lipsticks 
So I thought this would be cool to have in my kit. And it had like this really nice brownie nude here. And a lot of my clients like that. And it has this color right here, which a lot of my clients love colors like this. And then it has a bold color here. And this color, I don't think my clients would ever wear something like this. I might give this to my mom. And this little bag came up to $78. I just cannot. I just cannot. Like, I don't know. I'm like super hyper aware of how much money I spend. I, spend, I just don't understand why I spend money. Like, what's going on? But I needed these things. I needed these things for my kids. Okay. I went to Target yesterday. And I got these little Christmas trees. And they were a dollar each. So I thought I would put them around the house just to add some little Christmas decor. Like last year, I bought little trees and, um, you know, the glittery trees um, that you get for a dollar. I bought so much last year and all it did was leave glitter all over my apartment. So I said, this year, I ain't doing that. I'd rather have stuff like this because they're easy to save, right? And it doesn't make a mess. So I'm gonna put this all around the house. And honestly, I feel like I'm done with Christmas decor. I don't wanna overly do my, um, with my apartment with Christmas decor. I mean, like I'm saying that now, but you just never know. We're already in December and yeah, I think I'm done with all of that. So uh, yeah, I got a bunch of these. And they were a dollar target and they kind of match the aesthetic of my apartment. So I'm kind of happy about that. Let me put them all over randomly in the apartment. See where I could put placements and stuff like that. So we'll see. in the apartment and honestly I feel like I do need a little bit more Christmas decor here I know I know we'll see we'll see I feel like I need a little something something but it's fine I mean it is what it is I'm not gonna think too much about it because I'm not gonna be here all the time I'm gonna be flying a lot this month so I don't want to like overdo it but I just want a little bit more like Christmas stuff anyways let me not let me not you know stress over it but yeah i showered i am gonna retire for the night but yesterday i went to paris baguette okay i have the biggest sweet tooth i love pastries and that's like my downfall i feel so i got a fruit tart and I'm gonna show you how that looks like and I'm going to enjoy myself, okay? I'm gonna treat myself to a berry tart. So here it is, I'm so excited. Oh no! Look what happened. Aww. And it had a candy cane. I guess when I was walking, it kind of just slide off. That sucks. Maybe I could just push everything in. Oh, I think I made it worse. Hmm, it looks bad, but it, that's what happened. I, I bought it too soon yesterday and I was still shopping around and walking around. So I guess it shifted during the move, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna take a bite. Like literally, this is everything. This is so good. Mm. Okay, that's it. All right, let me put it away. Okay. Making popcorn because 
we are hanging out in the couch tonight and we are going to watch some Korean drama. So, right now, I'm on episode four of My Demon. Um, I just wish that Netflix would just release all the episodes so I could just binge watch it. But they're not doing it, and it's pissing me off. So, I'm on episode four, and we have the lead. She's like... An adopted CEO or adopted business mogul and she meets this demon and they're kind of like forced to kind of be together because of cir circumstances which is kind of like magical circumstances so he has to like be around her because she has something that belongs to him and he has to be with her because it's literally life or death for him. And on top of that, he's protecting her like a bodyguard because somebody's trying to kill her and we don't know why. So I'm on episode four and the person who adopted her was just murdered. And in the will, the person that was murdered, her adopted mother, said that the this entire business belongs to you if you get married within a year, I think. So now she has to find a husband so she could claim the business. And if she doesn't do that, then I guess the business will go to her greedy, disgusting kids. So that's where I'm up to. But I'm assuming that they're going to get married. Like almost like a marriage of convenience. And one thing about Korean dramas is that it's so much like it's like a soap opera so many different storylines within the show you have a demon you have magical like problems mystical problems that they they're going through right then you have real life stuff somebody's trying to kill her somebody killed her adoptive mother but who but who killed her adoptive mother now she has to find out who's trying to kill her and who killed her adoptive uh, mother. Not only that, then she has a demon that's attached to her hip because she has something that belongs to him and he needs it back because if he doesn't get it back, he literally dies. Like he combusts. So it's just so many things. And now she has to find a husband in order to keep the business that her adoptive mother gave to her but like i said she has to be married in order to really rightfully claim the business there's a lot going on i'm just like what's going on but i like it i like it <laughs> i'm on episode four i have 36 minutes left in the show and then that's it and then i have until december 8th for the next episode to roll over which i'm very upset about but it's okay so this is the show I'm watching, My Demon, episode four, Sweet But Dangerous. So this is her adoptive mother that passed away. And this is her, she is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Poor girl, she really loved her. Okay. You see how her kids are so disgusting? Okay. Good morning. Hi guys. 
we are in the next day. I woke up super early. I don't know. I go to bed early and I wake up super early. I don't know. I feel like an old lady. So I drunk my coffee this morning. I'm feeling alive. I washed my hair. So the last clip we left off, I watched um, the whole episode of My Demon. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just wash my hair so i don't need to like worry about it today so i washed it did my hair it was super quick and then i went to bed and woke up around 6 a.m and tiktok man tiktok is demonic <laughs> in a sense where i would wake up early and then i will be in my bed on tiktok the swiping, 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 and for what? For hours. And it wasn't until like, I was on TikTok for like almost two hours, just on my bed. And then I started editing a little bit, and I was like, you know what, let me just, let me just wake up. Let me wake up. <laughs> let me, let me start, let me start my day. So I showered, did my thing, brushed my teeth, you know, and I was like, you know what, let me catch up on some YouTube videos. So I made my coffee and yeah, I don't know what the day is looking like today. I almost want to stay in all day because tomorrow I do work. And honestly, I want to go to Old Navy and buy another, like a couple of PJs because they're ten dollars and I am a PJs mommy I love PJs I love sets I love being cozy in my apartment like it'd be stupid of me to pass that up especially when I love lounging around my apartment it's just like something that's just an investment like you can never have enough PJs so I feel like I'm gonna go to Old Navy and get you know, maybe two or three more. I would say like probably two more PJ sets and stuff and cozy socks. I love it. They're $3 in Old Navy right now. So I was thinking about getting more cozy socks because a girl should be cold. I just want to get out and get out of the apartment really early. So, you know, just so I could get some fresh air. I want to be cooped up in the apartment. Just want to do that so I could like take in some sun because I thrive in sunlight and we don't get a lot of sunlight here in New York currently so I just want to like have the sun touch my face and you know just browse. So I was looking at the weather it's 40 degrees I'm thinking is this a little too much will I get a little hot wearing this I don't know what do you guys think I feel like I am but then again I get cold easily. All right, I'm just gonna stick with this, like fuck it, because my ass is always cold and I'm not trying to play myself. I'd rather be, like for me right now, there's no such thing as being too warm. So, so I'm gonna put this, this is the sweater. I'm gonna wear my beat up Uggs and my beat up socks. <laughs> Nobody to impress out here in these streets of Queens, literally. Like, I'm so, like, over people. <laughs> like, I'm so over people. I don't... It's just, like, people are disappointing, you know? This is it. I'm gonna be warm. This from American Eagle. Believe it or not, this is really warm. I was like, oh! I bought a, a puffer jacket. It's coming in the mail probably by next week. I'll show you when it gets here. But I bought a puffer jacket because I feel like that's a staple here in New York. Like, are you even from New York even? Do you even own a puffer jacket even? <laughs> So I feel like as, as a New Yorker, you need a puffer jacket. Personally, I never haven't owned a puffer jacket in my biggest because I just thought that the puffier the jacket is, the more, you know, I was very conscious when it comes to jackets, coats, and stuff like that because I didn't want to look bigger. Now that I lost all this weight, 
Now I feel like a true New Yorker. I could be layered and I could wear a puffer jacket or whatever, you know, and not feel self-conscious about it. I remember when I was bigger, like I wasn't, I didn't get cold like that, you know? So I used to wear like a teddy coat, a teddy long jacket, anything that was long to cover my butt or something like a, a wool coat with a really thick scarf. People used to be like, oh, are you... Are you cold? And I'm like, no, but I really wasn't cold. As long as my my neck and my ha my head and my hands was covered, I was straight. But now that I am semi anemic. Well, I am anemic. I feel like I got a bundle for the gods. So I love this. I bought this during Black Friday for twenty five dollars. I think the original price of this was I don't know fifty sixty dollars. I love it, and it's super freaking warm like super warm it was to a point where i was debating if i should get a puffer jacket because i felt like this would suffice but i'm not gonna play myself i'm getting a puffer jacket i just feel like this year winter is gonna be disrespectful so i'm being prepared i got my coat is coming in i already got hats and scarves and gloves i'm gonna be wearing my beat up uggs i'm prepared i'm prepared so the winter ain't gonna get me period underestimating the weather honestly yeah it's cold i'm just gonna bundle up as i was outside i wish that i brought my hat and my gloves because i was freezing i am not going to underestimate mother nature these new york streets okay like i'm gonna bundle up because it, it was really cold oh my gosh i was so hungry so hungry that I was like, Sophie, don't buy any food. Don't buy any food. We have food at home. We just did groceries yesterday. But my mind is just like, I don't want to cook. <laughs> There's this restaurant that I love. Like, they do teriyaki, whatever. And I was like, you know what? Let me just get that. And sushi. So that's what I got. I got like a bento box. So um, I got enough for lunch because I didn't have lunch and I have enough for dinner. I didn't even eat anything today. All I had was coffee, okay? And maybe two bites of the berry tart. That's all I had. That's all I had. That's all I had. And I feel like I need like a solid meal in me. I'm gonna eat the sushi first. That's gonna be my lunch. And then a little later on today, I'm gonna have the bento box. And then, you know, leftover baby. There's gonna be leftover, so I'll have lunch for tomorrow. And another thing, while I was outside, crew scheduling, I'm gonna be in ready reserve tomorrow. So ready reserve is pretty much when I am sitting at the airport ready to go if they need me instead of being at home. I'd rather be at home, honestly, I hate getting dressed to go to work and then go all the way over there to the airport right sit my ass down for about seven eight hours and then they don't call me i'm gonna be tight i'm gonna be very very upset i'm gonna show you what i bought and then after that i am going to eat i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat all right so whole time of what i got in these streets of New York City. I went to H&M, I got these. So this is a set. I just wanted something that's like nude. And I don't care, like this is something that I'll probably wear all year round. 
that's the reason why I got this color, but look at the pattern. Okay, came with the shirt and the pants, size small. Hopefully it fits, we'll see. It has stretch in it, so I was like, I think I could fit it. I think I could fit it, so we'll see. You know what? Mm, I will put them on so you could see how it fits. I didn't, I'm going to do a little pajama yama try on for you guys. Then I went to Old Navy and I got this set. Well, this is in the small. And I thought this would be really cute for New Year's. Maybe if I make it back home, I'll probably do this with this red top. I was trying to see if I could match this. Um, the red is, is almost like a reddish orange here so I was like whatever I just got a red shirt so I'm thinking maybe it doesn't need to be all the way matchy matchy but I thought that would be cute and I got that the top is extra small because I realized that old navy cuts a little bigger so I got an extra small in, in the top and a small for the bottom either this I would wear for New Year's or I might wear the the H&M one for New Year's you let me know. Should I wear this one or should I wear this for New Year's? I think I showed you guys what I'm going to wear for Christmas and Christmas Eve or whatever. So I got three, three pajamas. So I got New Year's Eve, Christmas night, and New Year's Eve. So I'm good. I got some fuzzy socks. They were $3. So I got these socks and Black Santa. Oh, Papa Noel, if you're Haitian, Papa Noel, you know I gotta represent, and I'm gonna I probably wear it with, you know, I might be psychotic, but I'm one of those girlies that sleep with socks on. Sometimes it depends on if I'm really cold, and I when I used to be bigger, I barely slept with anything on. Like I wanted to sleep butt naked. And now I need to be bundled up, it's crazy. And then I got these socks here and I thought this would be really nice all season long. After Christmas or something like that, I thought that was really cute. And I went to Primark and I got assorted faux flowers. Right here, because I'm gonna do something up here. I feel like there's some spots that I need to like fill. I don't know. I just saw it and I was like, ah, let me get it. And I got this vase to put the plants in here. So I'm just gonna assort it accordingly. Then I got a candle from Primark. It was ten dollars and it doesn't say but it smells like lavender. It smells really good. I really, really like it. And I like the aesthetic of it. And it kind of just matches my vibe in this apartment. So I'm kind of upset I missed the candle sale in Bath and Body Works. Like, I didn't get an email. It wasn't until the following day. They were like, did you guys get your candles? Like, last year... All my social media, all I saw was promotions, ads, everything for the candle sales, and I didn't see anything. So I'm kind of upset that I missed it. Ugh, but anyways, so I got this. This is like a clip to put in my hair, like little holiday accessories. I just wanted to get it now so that I don't need to like think about it. Um, I got this to wear for work. I got an email from work and they're encouraging the flight attendants to, you know, wear some type of Christmas accessories. So I thought this would be really cute. Then I got this right here. I thought that would be really cute. So I could wear to work. <laughs> I look so silly. So I could wear to work or I could wear for Christmas Eve, Christmas night. So we'll see. I was thinking about doing a game night at my apartment. So this would come in handy, we'll see. And if I make it back at home, I got this to wear. I think that'll be cool, see? Or if I don't, I will have this for work. So 
it's either or I, I think that's I think these are really cute that's all folks that's all I have for you guys that's all I spent and yeah let me put all of these things away and then I'm gonna go eat my sushi because a girl is hungry okay all right I got comfortable I have my spicy mayo sauce and then I have my sushi roll it is the spicy salmon roll we have eight rolls Let's see how much I'll eat. Like, I love sushi. I really, really do. Me and one of my sisters, we keep us poning our, our sushi date. So hopefully this weekend we have a sushi date because I'm off. Hmm. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna watch today. Just trying to figure out what to watch. It's looking like I'm gonna watch that game show for sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna check out the first episode and see how that how that is. And I'll let you guys know. Alright, so this is as much as I ate. I think they had eight rolls in total in here out of eight only two is left over mm -hmm. 